The port of Lianyungang in East China's Jiangsu province is an important link along the new Usual Asia land bridge. In recent years, the port has been used by member countries of the Shanghai Cooperation Organization as a gateway to the sea to export their merchandise. On June 6, the Chinese President Xi Jinping and the Kazakh President Sultan Nazarbayev in Astana inspected via video link the departure of two cargo trains carrying containers heading for Almaty and Istanbul. The Global Times visited the Lianyungang China Kazakhstan International Logistics Company, a joint venture of the Lianyungang Port Group and KTZ Express. Cargo headed for Central Asian countries from our port includes auto spare parts, medical equipment, daily necessities, and construction materials. Kazakhstan mainly exports materials and ferro alloys to China and Southeast Asia. For the first time, Kazakhstan sent a patch of green carrying containers as transit goods through our port in Vietnam in February. The logistics company is also Kazakhstan's largest overseas investment so far. The Global Times spoke with some of the Kazakh employees there. From 2011 to 2016, goods passing through Kazakhstan between China and Europe was up 100%. We are also adding a dry port in Horgos on the China-Kazakhstan border. We believe the opportunity for Kazakhstan and China is growing. By 2020, trade between China and Europe through Kazakhstan will reach 600,000 TEUs. Lianyungang is forging itself into a gateway to the sea for all the Central Asian countries in the Shanghai Cooperation Organization. And Kazakhstan is not the only country benefiting from the port. With the Belt and Road Initiative steadily progressing, the port is poised to link more Central Asian countries to the Pacific and the vast market of sea transport.